May 24th, 1844. Samuel B. Morse sent the first Morse code telegraph ever. It read. Thus began a new era of communication. No longer would a message take days to travel only a few hundred miles. For the first time in modern history, events thousands of miles distant could be quickly reported and spread across the country. Continuing to grow, the telegraph became one of the most influential inventions of all time. Now, from the vision form, history and science can come alive as you assemble and operate your own Moscow Telegraph kit. Just imagine the stability of Moscow Telegraphs. Instead of wasting your time with cell phones, why not use a telegraph kit? Just think of all the problems cell phones cause. They lose signal. The batteries die. They lose signal. They break easily. They lose signal. They never stop ringing. They lose signal. And worst of all, they cause traffic accidents and brain tumors. All of these things can be avoided simply by returning to wired communication. Enjoy sending fun messages and jokes with family and friends. Now, now, there's enough for everyone. Getting your telegraph kit ready for sending messages is easy. First, you attach the steel hardware to the wood base. Loop the rubber band around the hinge mechanism. Trim the wire, coil it around the spool, and screw it into the wood base. Finally, use the alligator clips to connect the wires from the battery to the base. After assembly is complete, you're ready to send your first Morse code message. This mother uses Morse code to save her voice. Instead of shouting through the house and waking up the baby, a few taps is all that is required to call the boys to breakfast. And learning Morse code only complements these boys' stellar educational experience. Bon appetit, lads! Another way that lends excitement to your telegraph kit is an emergency service for damsels in distress, such as this young lass whose wily cat has inadvertently got itself stuck in a tree. This duo is off to save the day. With the proper equipment, these sturdy, ready, willing and able young men, the problem will hopefully remain a problem rather than become a catastrophe. The proper conditioning is essential. One cannot be too adequately prepared for braving the wilds. Our men here have a good set of firm muscles and a good plan for a successful rescue operation. Oftentimes, problems have a way of solving themselves, the end result being simply another case of much ado about nothing. Sorry boys, maybe next time. Like these creative, well-intentioned lads, you too can put your Morse code kit to good use by serving women and children in need. Available now at visionform.com.